Hello, I'm Ellen Murphy from American Homestead, and today I'm going to show you how to do the Lazy Daisy Stitch. In my needle, I have Valdani three-strand floss, and there is a knot at the end of my floss. So we're going to take our wool and come up from the back, and we're going to pull all the way through. Now I like to make a loop with my floss and then we're going to take our needle and very close to where we first came up, we're going to put the needle down, but we will not pull through at this point. We're going to pivot the needle and we want it to come up at the point where we want the top of our loop of our stitch to be. So in this example, it's about a half of an inch away. So then I'm going to take the thread and I'm going to put it around the top of the needle so it forms a nice loop and I then I take my left thumb and I hold it on top of the loop and then pull the needle through then I'm going to take the needle and jump over the top of the loop over the floss and put it down very close and pull through and that's what will hold the stitch in place. And there we have it, a very nice Lazy Daisy stitch. Now we're gonna do it again. We're going to come up, we're gonna make a bit of a loop, then we're going to put our needle down, and this time we're gonna make a smaller stitch. And we're going to bring it up here, we're going to make sure that the floss goes around in back of the needle. We'll put our left thumb on top of the loop and then we'll pull through. Now we're going to jump with the needle over the top of the loop, over the floss, put it down and pull through. And there, our second Lazy Daisy stitch. You can use them for petals or for leaves or for just ornament. So thank you. 